Welcome to the Jordan Michael Tuesday show where we're doing another find the story day. This one's good. Uh, I'll give you a hint of where it is, but I'm not going to tell you. It's grand, but it's a yacht. Uh, yeah. if, if you like really, really big, big ditches. Big ditches, like grand ditches, big like ditches Grand Canyon ditches. But that didn't say Grand Canyon. Okay, we're going to film at the Grand Canyon. Come on. Let's go. We're on our way to the Grand Canyon on the Jordan Michael Tuesday tour. Two nights ago we played in Colorado and three nights ago we played in Colorado and we we're tired. Thankfully the Lord has given us grace for each day. At times we're like, oh, I think we need to go home. But uh, Lord willing, we're gonna see this trip through. But we're passing the Grand Canyon and we've never been this far. The first time in Arizona, first time in New Mexico. By the time the end of the day comes around, uh, Lord willing, it'll be the first time we're in California because we're supposed to end the day in Los Angeles. And while we're there, we gotta find the skid at the Grand Canyon. And we'll tell you what the verse is when we get there. I didn't really wanna come here. <laughs> I want the kids to get the experience of this. I want them to be able to see the Grand Canyon and I prayed that I would have a good attitude and I wouldn't ruin it for everybody, but I can't wait till we get back in the car. Why? I don't want anybody to fall off the side of the cliff. Okay, we've arrived at the Grand Canyon. Look at mommy. Whoa. All right, Jules, is it as scary as you thought it'd be? Oh, yeah. I stand there by myself and just like take it in. It's like so glorious that, that, that God would create something like that. It makes you want to praise the Lord so much. Yeah. I get really nervous when the kids are right next to the fence. Well, of course. So if they're back here, I can go and take it in. Enjoy it. What do you guys think of the Grand Canyon, guys? Woo! Do you think woohoo? Yeah, great. It's, it's great. Okay. It's big. It's so hard to really fathom through a camera. Uh, just how huge and how vast this is. You know, honestly, even standing here in real time, I can't even like fathom how deep that is. It blows your mind. Aubrey, what do you think of the Grand Canyon? Uh, pretty. I think the Grand Canyon is amazing because it's just so deep and just so wide. What if we filled it up with water and made it a swimming pool? I would not want to swim in it. Brianna, you wish this was in our backyard? No, I would never want to fall from it. That's right. why I don't want it in our backyard. But I want to go to the castle over there. Should we go to the gift shop? I want to get a decal. Just like a girl. <laughs> go all the way out here and you can see the Grand Canyon and she wants hey, to go of shopping. like decal. Okay. I want to go shopping. This is so cool. This is like the desert point. It's like I, I filmed it from a distance away and now it's right here. It would be really fun to go up, but I don't think we're gonna be able to swing it this time. So we're inside of this tower and it's so cool. It's got, it, I wish we can go up to the top, but we need to be in Los Angeles uh, tonight. It's so funny about raising girls that I feel like when we get in the car, I'm gonna ask them what their favorite part of this is. And one of them will say the gift shop. What's your favorite part of today? Um, the castle and the here. So the gift shop? Yeah. Jonathan, what's your favorite part? <laughs> he said seeing this crazy canyon. When you're thinking about doing a skit with the Grand Canyon, it's hard to not be like, la da 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 Oh look, there's a Grand Canyon! And then this happened. And then hey, the Grand Canyon's huge! And this happened like this. Hey, whoa, look out there! So it's hard to think about how do we include the Grand Canyon in a skit. So our verse for today is Proverbs 27.3, and it says, a stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but the provocation of a fool is heavier than both of them. So I guess that means that, uh, you know, you can deal with heavy things in life, but when you're dealing with a fool, it could be a lot heavier on the soul than that. Maybe that reminds me of Wetworth, who is a kid that had a beard, who is being babysat by his nanny. That'd be a good one. You want to be in the skit? Yeah. Well, I want to. Oh man, this backpack's heavy. Well, you sure seem to have a lot to carry. Now, Wetworth. Your mom said I was your nanny. Yeah, yeah. So I need you to be respectful because we're going near the Grand Canyon's edge. Wetworth! I am 
am being careful. When I bungee jump, I'm gonna tie a string to my leg. Hey, I'm gonna yodel. Yodel! But worth quiet down. You gotta be respectful of the tourists. Okay. Hey, tourists, get out of my way. You're blocking the view. What worth? You got a whole view right in front of you. Yeah, but I couldn't see that side. They're just in my peripheral. <laughs> Gift shop. We're not going to the gift shop. I want to go to the gift shop. <laughs> Look at all the goodies I got. That's great. Got a cool hat. This is the most difficult time I've ever had at the Grand Canyon. Oh, is that because your backpack's too heavy? Sorry. Ugh! So as we finish up at the Grand Canyon, we got to wrap up our thoughts on the provocation of a fool. You know, people will say, well. If I'm doing something that's against God or whatever, well, I'm, if I'm not hurting anyone, you know, I'm just being a fool on my own. But, you know, foolishness always affects someone. And, and choosing wisdom, choosing God's wisdom is always going to be a blessing to others. And so God has called us to be a blessing to others. And so we got to let him work foolishness out of our heart. And now our conclusive thoughts in the Grand Canyon. What do you think? Huh? I just can't even take it in. Yeah. It's too huge. It's like your eyes can't even fathom it. And I think about... Like, if this is on earth, on a fallen earth, what is heaven gonna look like? In heaven, I really, like. really, really hope that God lets me fly over something like that. So that was the Grand Canyon, and we got to do a, a quick tour of it, but now we've gotta get to Los Angeles. We're uh, gonna get together with our friends there, and then we're supposed to play at a school in uh, Orange County. So we better get going, huh? We'll see you next time on the Jordan, Jordan Michael, Michael Tuesday, Tuesday Show. Show.